This is sensible heating with the metric psychometric chart case, which during the day outside air heated up and the humidity relative humidity drop with time, but the amount of moisture in the air was roughly constant. Sensible heating only line. The line moves to the right at C. Over here we have line 2 which is moisture content line. Flip this over. Here's some actual data I took Saturday between uh, getting up, cutting the yard, cleaning up the house August 27th. It was a sort of mild day, sunny, 6 in the morning 25 degrees C. This is the metric case. 97 percent humidity. So over here we have the dry bulb temperature and C outside. These are outside temperatures with this device here which is an Accurite. So you got dry bulb temperature here 25 degrees C and 97 percent humidity and then during the day as it heated up, all this data points, it peaked over here at 35 degrees C and 54 percent humidity. In this process, the entire day the amount of moisture uh, content was roughly constant because the air is heating up, the air moisture is just hanging around the air, the humidity drops, so it was just about saturated early in the morning, 95, 25 degrees, 97 percent humidity, and then at the peak it was hot, 35 C, 54 percent humidity. That's relative humidity. This line here is a 50 percent line, that's a 60 percent. And on the metric chart this has got moisture content of kilograms per kilograms dry air. So we've got over here 0.019 so during this whole day we had between 0.02 and 0.19 about 1 50th roughly it was pretty constant which is kind of interesting here so you've got uh, it's just like you took this amount of moisture put it in a jar heated it up temperature rose humidity dropped humidity dropped because You've got higher temperature and you could add more moisture. The relative humidity is the ratio of what the air is holding to what it could hold. So over here, 25 degrees C, that's also the dew point. That's when the wet bulb here at saturation, which is 100% humidity. So if you here at 97% humidity, you can barely add any more hum moisture to the air and you're fully saturated. In this case during the day, if you sat there and shot a, a sprayer up in the air, you could go through and evaporate all this water and get way the heck up to here and get up to 0 0.3, 0 0.04 uh, ratio of moisture. Now the metric psychometric chart isn't as pretty as the one that was uh, English for some reason. This is from 83. It doesn't call out the dew point over here, but the dew point basically is the same as the wet bulb at 100% humidity. So if you took this data point here and said, well, it uh, 35 degrees C, 54% humidity, and said, what's the dew point? You just extend this line over and it's about 23.5 degrees C. So if you took this mixture outside during the day and then you uh, had a beer, a coke can, some type of metal container and then you put some water in it, put a little ice cube and you rotate it around and you cool it down. If you cool down the outside of the can uh, from 35 down to 23 and a half you'd have moisture formed on the outside. And that's the dew point. These are the wet bulbs. If you measure a wet bulb condition, you've got wet bulb lines. These are the instructions on the back. This is the train psychometric chart. 
that is in metric. And this is based at sea level. If you use one of these at a high altitude, say 4,000, 5,000, these conditions are slightly different in the sense you need a different chart. All these are basically uh, at sea level, which I'm basically probably 50, this is not that, almost at sea level, so it doesn't really make any difference here. And at normal pressure. If you check, did this under hurricane conditions where you got the dew point or the air pressure drop radically, uh, it's all wet too. Bad pun. But this is kind of interesting that you heat up the air and the moisture content, it was just like pure heating outside.